Passion for rabbit farming is an important ingredient, but passion alone is not sufficient. Hello, hello everyone. Once again, you are welcome to yet another Ace Rabbit Farm content. But before we start, this is an important consideration. You know, the title, Before You Start. Before You Start Rabbit Farming. Guys, this is an, a very, very important consideration because we have seen many, many young farmers, up-and-coming farmers, that drop the ball and along the line, they quit. Just as the going is getting tough. And for this reason, we find it relevant, necessary to bring this before you start topic to our viewership. You know, I was just... <laughs> thinking that this topic should have been the very first video we released but for some reason we are picking up these experiences along the way because we've now seen a couple of young farmers have come back to us to say hey alex you, you've painted a lovely picture but when we tried we could not get through it uh, we met a guy in the shopping mall he says guys i've been following you and i stopped and I, then we started asking questions and, and and so for this reason guys it is important that we put this topic out there we at least, you know, give you some kind of a head start, a preparation, so that when you jump into this rabbit farming business, you become successful. So, we believe that if we explore this topic together, it will give uh, you, you know, a new farming starter, the necessary foundation before you venture into this rabbit farming business, okay? Um, maybe, let's look at a couple of myths. That really comes with this rabbit uh, farming business. Okay, guys, it is not easy. That's point number one. Just make up your mind right now that it is not easy. I keep on saying this. If it is easy, then you and I, we should be very late to this party. It is not easy. Okay. You will need an appropriate space. So remember, a lot of material out there is saying you only need a small space. You need... Yes, you definitely need a small space. It depends on the size of the farm but you need an appropriate space so the word is appropriate not all spaces are appropriate okay i'm talking about weather condition i'm talking about noise i'm talking about you know pest uh, in the in the environment and yet it is a space so the space has to be appropriate okay rabbit farming i'm, I'm on point number three is not a get rich scheme it's not a get rich quick scheme or a get rich quick scheme yeah it is not a scheme to make you millions in five years no it's a long journey okay uh, I'll go to point number four rabbit are usually in cages and this means that you the farmer will have to do everything for them guys everything all right uh, routines point number five routines you know consistent routines all the time on time same time it takes discipline, guys. It takes discipline to be able to do that. Rabbit farming is an emotional journey. It's an emotional roller coaster, guys. It's up today. It's down tomorrow. It's twisted. You know, lots of bunnies. Beautiful uptime. Lot of death. Beautiful downtime. Diseases and challenges. All the various curveballs will be thrown at you. You will be challenged in rabbit farming. Okay. But guess what? At the end of the day, it is rewarding. Especially when you see success, when you see your product uh, from birth all the way to maturity, all the way to and then becoming the appropriate meat that you set out for. So, just bear that in mind that there are some myths out there and so forth and so on. Hey, rabbit meat is... Yes, all of that is true. But it is not easy. Okay? Alright. So, before we consider this topic um, let us just list a few points that really is what you need to do before you, you start your rabbit farming just check this few points just run through these few points in your neighborhood okay do i need permission you know point number one is there a permit system in your country or your location where you are do you need permit to have your rabbit farm then obviously you move down to point number two you look for a small little business case there has to be a purpose for the farm why you are doing this farm and therefore there has to be a business case okay the point number three is very very dear to my heart guys mentorship you have to find somebody who is already well established in the business to mentor you guess what ace farm we did that 
We did that in Ghana. We did that in South Africa. We connected with a couple of friends in the U.S. who really guided us and mentored us as we continue to grow. Okay. I already spoke about this point, which is appropriate space. You need the right space. Well protected from noise, from people. You know, plant trees or plant some kind of a shade or something just to create an environment which is appropriate for your animals. Okay. Once you find the appropriate space, you need appropriate housing structures. You know, very spacious housing structures to make the animals comfortable. Of course, use the self-cleaning method which we have designed. You know, all wire meshes. Be able to collect the urine. Because, guys, rabbit urine has got quite a heavy stench. So, um, people say rabbits are self-cleaning. Yes, yes, rabbits are very, very clean animals. But it is you, the farmer, who is the, who is the essential ingredient to bring that cleanliness about okay feed and water be sure you have access to feed abundant feed be it natural grass green tree fodder make sure you have abundant of that in your area before you start okay get alternative sources rely on pellet by all means but get alternative sources you know water clean water vitamins apple cider vinegar these are things that you need to have some knowledge about uh, then the last two points, really, I will speak a little bit about waste management. You know, how do you collect their waste and how do you reuse it? I'm talking about their droppings, which we all know is very good fertilizer. We are talking about their urine, which again, we know it is used in so many other applications from uh, foliage uh, fertilizer to um, insecticide repellent, organic insecticide repellent. Okay, so all of these are things that you need to be aware of and know about. The last part, which is the saddest part, is disease control. Disease control, treatment, prevention, you know, build, building partnership with your um, local veterinary services. And obviously, through your mentorship that we've already put out there in point number three, you are able to manage diseases, okay? So, guys, um, that is basically things that you need to do, or at least self-preparation, that is going to launch you into a successful rabbit farming. Okay. This topic is very, very short, but I guess there's a lot of lessons in here. Okay. Guys, remember, we've not spoken about marketing. We've not spoken about, you know, solving for profitability. We've not spoken about any of those things. But for now, these, before you start your rabbit project, at least consider this viewpoint. Okay. All right. So, guys, uh, on the bonus material, I would like to talk about experiment. Guys, a lot of, yes, we do have mentors, we do have reading materials to guide us, but a lot of the times we have to experiment ourselves. We have to do a lot of try and error. We have to make a lot of mistakes. And all in all, that helps you to build the acumen. You know, uh, that helps you to build the resistance to failure. So all I'm trying to say here is that, guys, go out there, keep learning, keep experimenting. You know, try and error here and there. Take notes, document, grow from it, okay? So that before you realize, you become the expert. And that is how we did it. There is no any other secret formula. The real secret formula here is about being willing to experiment. Give it an effort, try and error. So that you document your way forward. You chatter your own way forward. And by so doing, you become successful at what you are doing. And don't, don't be afraid of the cost. Okay. The cost is your education fee. Think about it. The cost is your education fee. So go out there, experiment, fail, get up and do it again. All right. As always, guys, keep farming. There's a lot out there to be done. Guys, keep farming. Keep following Ace Rabbit Farm as we bring you more and more exciting stuff. Okay. Uh, in my next session, Elliot is going to show us uh, our new upgrade that is going on in the farm. Okay. All right, guys, until I catch you again, keep farming. Keep farming. Bye.